What is going on everyone and thank you so much for tuning in to another video. Um, if you're new to the channel, my name is Jordan and this is my Overland trailer that I've been building. Um, I have two videos that I had posted before this, so this is video number three. Um, if you haven't seen those two, go check those out real quick, uh, even if you just want to you know, scroll through them real fast. That way you can kind of see the build as it's developed throughout the process. Uh, this was an old work trailer that I had and we kind of just turned it into an Overland trailer. Uh, it's been a long process but it's pretty rewarding because it's coming out kind of nice I, I like it a lot and um, today what I want to do with you guys is open everything up and kind of show it off so give me a second here and I'm gonna set everything up for you all right here it is so uh, I'm gonna give you a little bit of background on why I decided to build this trailer um, basically our family is growing uh, we now have three kids and I want all of them to grow up in the outdoors doing this, just enjoying nature and uh, getting out of the city. Seeing the prices of these overland trailers that people are selling at dealers and stuff like that, a little bit out of my price range to go buy one. So I had this old work trailer and I figured, you know, what the heck, I have a welder, I'm a decent builder of things and uh, I might as well try to build one. And it came out pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'll start off up front right here with you guys. And then uh, we'll work our way around the trailer and go through everything. All right. So up front, um, I have this toolbox. And this is the cheapest toolbox that I could find online on Amazon. I think it was like 90 bucks. So it's just a regular old aluminum diamond plate toolbox and uh, that is holding my battery pack and all the wiring for the solar panel and this is the solar panel this is a 150 watt solar panel should be enough to charge what i'm running in here and basically what i did was i put two pieces of uh, angle iron on each side and i made a slide for it so all you have to do is pull these pins out and then you can pull push and pull the uh, solar panel in and out just like that so when I'm driving, I'm going to keep it in, and then when we're at camp and I need to get some sun, I'm just going to pull it out and put those pins back in. All right, so here is the toolbox and the battery setup. The wiring is kind of messy right now. That's part of that 1% that I need to finish. But this is a MaxiTrack battery box power station right there. I got that on sale on uh, Napo.com. I think I paid 10 bucks for it. And that is holding my battery inside. And then I have my uh, solar, the, I guess you can call it the uh, power station. So it's telling me right now, I'm not even, I'm not even in the sun and it's getting 10, 10.2 volts. And then I have that ran up. The wires are right here, running up to the solar panel. And then here is the uh, angle iron that I used right there all I did was weld that onto the trailer right there and basically we can slide it out and put the pins in the holes whenever we want to get some sun get some power going and then uh, this is a little LED light it's a one inch by one inch light it's a bright little LED off-road light that I mounted right here to light up camp and that is wired down to the power station as well and I just put a little switch right here for it so that'll turn it on All right, so here is that kitchen area. These are the cabinets right here. Sorry, there's a lot of shade going on right now. The sun's coming down and uh, it's starting to produce a lot of shade in this trailer. But this is actually uh, boat flooring. It's adhesive boat flooring. It's just a thick foam. And I mounted that um, and used a staple gun to kind of keep things secure on there because the adhesive that it came with really wasn't uh, good at all. And this is just a sheet of aluminum that I cut to fit. As I'm going to use that as a cutting board and uh, kind of where to put the uh, stove and everything. And right here is my fridge. So this is my Dometic fridge and the fridge slide. So that comes out. And we have our fridge, our cooking area, and then the door that goes in front of the fridge right here 
actually doubles as a table. So you can pop that off the hinges and then it mounts to the trailer and um, I made a, a little leg stand for it right there out of conduit and it mounts to the trailer right here. It's just drilled out and uh, you just push and pull out the pin if you want to mount it in there. And here is our awning. It's the uh, Napa, the Maxi Track brand, the eight foot awning. And I'll show you the uh, way I mounted it to the trailer. All right, so here is the uh, way that we mounted the awning. I got this roof, this uh, roof rack, I guess you can call it. Um, it's Vantech. It was like a hundred bucks on eBay and I welded it to the angle iron on the top of the trailer. And I made this awning mount out of uh, perforated steel and square aluminum tubing. So I drilled it out to fit each hole and basically you can raise and lower the awning to the height that you want. So when I'm driving through the trails, I'm gonna lower it all the way so it doesn't catch on things. And then when we're camping, I'm gonna raise it up to make it comfortable for us. I have a video on that on my channel as well if you wanna see uh, exactly how we made it and all the specifications and everything we used. Okay, so here is the door itself. I just used angle iron right here, flat iron going across, and then I welded the unistrut all the way across as well. So we have two pieces of unistrut that we're going to be able to mount things to. And uh, it's all welded together and um, pretty secure. So here is how we mount, how we close it and lock it in place. So basically all we do is put this pin in like that. And then down here, you can see I have this piece of metal on a swivel and you just move that in front of the trailer. That's just a kind of a safety. Um, the pin, if it comes out, that's going to be able to save it. So um, I really don't need that piece, but I just put it there just for peace of mind. And I used a 100 pound strut to power it. So you can see it opens all on its own. And the strut is right here, the gas powered strut that, you know, is plenty strong to uh, open this out. And I'll show you the inside right now. Um, it's all just three quarter inch plywood on the floors. And I mounted these um, tie downs. I have one, two, three, four. So that if I'm putting some kind of totes or storing things in here, I can strap it all down so it's not bouncing around on the trail. This is probably my favorite part of the trailer is the water tank. So basically I just used um, eye hooks. I don't know if you can see them right there. There's four of them and then ratchet straps to hold it down. That's a county line water tank. It's made for an ATV to spray uh, pesticides, I guess for farmers. I got it at Tractor Supply. It was on sale for $70 and it came with the pump and the wires. So I couldn't pass that up. Okay, so here is the door to access the water. I don't know if you'd call it a door or kind of like a, just a hatch. So this is literally a boat hatch that I got on Amazon and it was like 30 bucks I think. I can't remember but I'll make a parts list at the end of the video and uh, show it to you guys. All you do is undo these two latches and it opens up right there and we have access to our water. And it's all weatherproofed. It has a rubber ceiling all the way around it so that it, you know nothing's going to get in. And I'm going to show you guys how that water works right now. So here's our water tank and this is the hose. So it's a super long hose and I can actually run it to the kitchen area. I can run it all the way around the trailer without any issues. I'm going to stuff that in there real quick. And then right here is the switch to turn it on. And uh, that is wired directly to the battery station as well. So I'm going to turn that on and show you how it works. So you can see it's got plenty of power. I could probably wash a car with this. And then you can adjust the uh, pattern as well. I can turn it to stream the fan and the mist so that's going to be nice to have when we're camping uh, we are in south texas so we go to the beach a lot and the kids are always full of sand and uh, this is nice to have just to spray them off and uh, get the sand off of them before they go into the tent I'm going to show you guys this stream real quick and uh, exactly how good this uh, water tank works. So there's the nozzle. And that's my spare tire on the carrier right there. I'll show you how hard I can shoot at it. 
if you can see that. I mean, I could wash my truck with this. I could wash dishes. Pretty much do anything with it. So right there, you can see that's probably a good 30-foot stream of water, which will be nice to have. And then the uh, tank itself holds 15 gallons of water. So there's the tank right there, and you can see the pump came with that, came with everything you see, except for the straps. And like I said, I got a tractor supply on sale for $70. Okay, and now for our tent. Um, this is an old tent that I had. I have one on my Forerunner that I might switch onto here because it's bigger. But this is a uh, Tassa Outdoors tent. It's a local Texas company. Uh, it's an awesome tent, I love it. It's a three person tent and I have it mounted to the uh, roof rack, the crossbars that I welded to the frame of the trailer. So there is the jack and the pintle hitch. So basically that hitch just is free sitting on there and it has great articulation off-road. It's a lot of wiggle room for it to move and um, it's, it's, you know, it's basically perfect for this trailer. Okay, for our wheels and tires and our fender, that fender is um, a cheap tractor supply fender that I found, and I just welded it onto the frame of the trailer. And the wheels and tires, so those are just basic trailer wheels. They're a uh, five by 4.5 bolt pattern, so they unfortunately they don't match my uh, Toyota, but um, it's all right, I always have a spare on my 4Runner anyway. And then the tires are the Cooper Discover All-Terrains, and they are about a 30-inch all-terrain tire. I got those on sale at walmart.com, um, both of them for $90, which was amazing. And then I am running a 2-inch wheel spacer so I could fit them. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And I'm running the stock axle underneath the trailer. All I did was flip the U-bolts and the leaf springs to give it some more clearance. And my lighting, those are some lights that I found on Amazon. They're just LED trailer lights. And what I liked about them was they have this metal housing. And if it hits something, I mean, I can literally bend this and, and move it around and it won't break. All right, you guys. So that's my trailer. Um, I'm actually pretty proud of myself for building it. This is the first trailer I've ever built in my life. And I think it came out really nice. Um, I'm excited to use it and take it out on some trips with the family and uh, see what it's all about. But yeah, let me know what in the comments what you guys think about it. Uh, if you have any ideas for me that I might make this thing a little bit better for us, you know, I am down to try new things on it and add things to it that, uh, you know, will be beneficial to uh, camping with the family. But as always, thank you guys so much for always watching my videos and uh, we'll see you next time.